And in conclusion, we have found MySQL to be an excellent database for our website. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Why didn't you use PostgreSQL? PostgreSQL is fully ACID compliant and scales better under high concurrency. That's an excellent question. We evaluated several SQL databases and concluded that the other options are still too immature for our production needs. MySQL is a proven database that is used across the web and it has the features we need. But it isn't reliable. Everybody knows that MySQL doesn't support transactions or foreign keys, and tables routinely get corrupted under normal workloads. Reliability is a complicated topic and it's hard to make a general statement like that. MySQL is not ACID compliant. Postgres is ACID compliant. Ignoring hardware faults and power outages, you can never lose data with Postgres. It may surprise you that there are a large number of high-profile websites using MySQL such as Slashdot and Google AdSense. It may surprise you that a large number of developers will choose a database solely on whether there are a large number of hits for database name tutorial on Google, regardless of whether it is reliable or a suitable choice for their use case. We have developed processes to ensure that downtime caused by corrupted tables is kept to a minimum. Furthermore, by not using foreign keys, our database performs much better. That's because you're basically taking your data and vomiting it onto the hard drive without any consideration as to if the data you are writing is sensible or simply dreamed up by Magic Pixies. Does that sound like a good idea to you? If Magic Pixies are required to make sure MySQL can maintain its kick-ass performance, then I see no problem with that. If you are stupid enough to totally ignore durability just to get benchmarks, I suggest you pipe your data to DevNull. It will be very fast. If DevNull is fast and has many tutorials, I will use it. Does it have many tutorials? You are kidding me, right? I was making a joke. I mean, if you're happy writing to a database that doesn't make an effort to write your data properly just because you want high performance numbers, why not write to DevNull? It's fast as hell. Does DevNull support B-trees? Holy shit, for my own mental health I'm going to assume you're just messing with me and are not actually retarded. Do you even know what a B-tree is? B-trees are MySQL's best feature. MySQL uses B-tree to tables with index compression. They make it so fast. Please tell me you don't actually make a living in a technology field. I'm a web programmer. As of this moment I officially resign from my job as software engineer and will take up work testing poison antidotes and cleaning nuclear reactors because that will be a thousand times more tolerable than being in the same industry as dipshits like you. You read the latest post on MySQLPerformance.com and think you're a fucking Google architect and parrot slogans like B trees, but you have no idea what the fuck you are talking about. You're going to blow some project to hell because you get a woody playing with software like it's a sex doll. PostgreSQL has been around since the fucking 80s and is some of the most mature technology you can find. Yet somehow you need to use MySQL because it sounds faster and has a cuter logo. If you need to write random data to disk very quickly fine, use MySQL. But if you're like 99.9% .9 of companies you will end up hating its unreliability and then you will find it doesn't scale without turning off so many database features that you may as well have used MongoDB. MongoDB has shards. It's so fast and scalable. Right now I'm thinking of how much fun it will be to test my first poison. As I vomit onto my shoes and cramp so hard I gash my head open on my knees, I feel a strange sense of peace inside. My sequel is easy to install, and it is open source. I love open source. My sequel will never be ruled by corporate overlords, because it is open source. Now I'm bleeding out my anus, but I don't care, because I don't have to listen to the MySQL fanboys claiming their project somehow has a future. By turning on the NODB storage engine. MySQL can have transactions and foreign keys too. What the fuck? Databases, by definition, should have these features. They are not some fucking optional extra like chicken tenders at Burger King. Besides, InnoDB transactions do not work for DDL, and you have to turn every configuration flag under the sun, so it won't consider February 31st a valid date. 
I mean, who cares what we store as long as we do it quickly? Oh, sorry. That's right. I'm in the lab now drowning in a pool of my own vomit and blood, but it feels heavenly to me, because I'm nowhere near this moronic conversation. My sequel has a multi-layered server design with independent modules. I'm now scrubbing the reactor core with a toothbrush. My hair is falling out, and my insides are spewing bodily fluids as they decompose under heavy radiation. I'll be dead soon, but that is a welcome relief as I will never be around to hear morons, like you talk about my sequel, as if it were an actual fucking database. My sequel executes very fast joins using an optimized nested loop join. Thank you for your questions. This presentation is over, and I'm fucking off to the lab, to start my new career. <sighs>